Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing a product. It is from the brand e.l.f. and it is their custom pan eyeshadows. So if you're interested in seeing my collection of them more in depth, then just keep on watching and I will also show swatches as I go. So right here I have one, two, three, Fifteen, sixteen, whatever eyeshadows, and I have some purple, some tans, gold, goldy bronze color, a light tealish color, and some more bronzy neutral colors. And I also have two of the pans that they come in. Well, actually, they do not come in them. They come in these little package in here. But the pans that I got are able to fit four of them. But I do officially want to get a Z palette just for these because there is a lot. So I'm going to start off with the neutral shades one by one and I will be doing swatches of them. So I am going to start with this first one here and it is called Ivory. And this is what the swatch looks like for Ivory. It has a little bit of sheen in the light, but then also is kind of matte. This right here is the color called Pink Ice. For Pink Ice, to me, it's got a little bit of a peachy undertone, but then you can see it's also got this iridescence to it. It has a little bit of pink, but it's more on the peachy side, and it does have a sheen to it. This eyeshadow here is called Taupe, and it is more on the goldeny brown side with a little bit of a sheen to it, but it is on the taupe. This is the color here, swatched on the back of my hand. And as you can see, it does have a sheen to it, but very lightly, and it is that perfect to true taupe color. This eyeshadow here is called Golden Glow, and it definitely does have gold in it with very slight brown, but more on the darker side of the brown. But it does have a very, very nice sheen, and you can definitely build this up to where it is more on... You know, as you can see from the light, it just uh, it reflects so beautifully. It looks like a eyeshadow form of champagne pop from Jaclyn Hill. As you can see from the swatch on the back of my hand, it is that golden glow. And in the light, sorry about the focus there, but in the light, it definitely has that glow. And as you can see every way it moves it has a different color to it but you will definitely get that bronzy glow with this one this eyeshadow is called peach fizz and you can see it definitely does have peach undertones and it also has a little bit of rose gold one as well I'll try and get a close up here for you as you can see perfect And as you can see from the swatch on the back of my hand, I did have to swatch it three times to get it the true, true color. But as you build it up, you get intensity of it, and you can definitely see it is that peachy, goldeny color with a little bit of rose gold in it. This eyeshadow right here is called Wheat, and it has a slight shimmer to it in the pan but when you swatch it as you'll see in a few seconds it is very sheen and it is on that brown side with a little bit of gold in it and this is it swatched on the back of my hand and as you can see it is the same just about but a little bit more shinier and that is definitely perfect for that bronzy glow. You will shine with this. And the more you build it up, the more intense. And as you can see, whatever light you are in, 
it changes. This one is called Driftwood and it's more of that muddy brown dark taupe kind of color with a little bit of a gold sheen in it. And this is it swatched on the back of my hand and as you can see it is that bronzy color with a little bit of orange pigment, definitely a gold sheen and you will be a bronzing goddess with this color. This eyeshadow is called Moon Dust, and it does have that taupey brown, but with a hint of purple, silver, rose, goldy color. And every way you look at it in the light does show a different way. And it does have sheen to it, like most of these shadows will. As you can see, it's got a purpley color to it, and then if you turn it certain ways in the light, it has a different iridescence to it and it's definitely very goldy and bronzy as well but darker. I think this would look great on the darker skins but also for that night out glow it's perfect for all over the lid. This eyeshadow is called Periwinkle and it is on the silverly silverly bluish purple side and it's got a little bit of the silver sheen to it not on the golden side this is it right here on the back of my hand I did go over it two times so it is not really that pigmented but if you do build it up you can work with it and if you use some fix plus or some elf mist and set or the elf lock and seal set then you will definitely get this pigmented to the way that you want it but it's got like I said it's got that purple silvery sheen to it and the color is just a perfect iridescence for the summertime this eyeshadow is called wisteria and what it is is that light purple color with a hint of violet and definitely silver flakes in it to make it that sheen iridescent color when it is swatched as you can see from the swatch it definitely is that same color as in the pan but with more of a sheen to it and definitely the silver sheen and love the purple iridescent color definitely good for all over the lid or as a highlight you can definitely achieve a mermaid makeup eye effect with that also if you want that as a tutorial let me know in the comments down below this eyeshadow right here is plain called purple. It's more of a deep violet to me and as you will see it is sheen as well and has shimmer to it. This eyeshadow definitely is more pigmented and in some lights as you can see it only has a little bit of shimmer like this would be nighttime and during the day you will look like this color. And it's got the right amount of sheen where it could be used as a transition shade depending on the look that you want. This eyeshadow right here is called Aubergine and it is that deep purple with a hint of violet color in it and it also has a little bit of brown sheen in it when you swipe it or you know swatch put it all over the lid. You could also use it as a transition shade but very very lightly. As you can see from the swatch it has that purpley sheen to it but the base color is definitely a brown with a little hint of gold fleck in it. This eyeshadow is called teal and as you can see it is that teal color. It is more on the light blue side when swatched and it has a silver undertone sheen to it. Perfect for achieving that daytime spring look or a mermaid transition shade. It's just gorgeous sheen out. This eyeshadow swatched is, as you can see, you do have to build it. This is two swatches worth built on top and you definitely can see the silver specks in it 
but the eyeshadow itself is gorgeous. I just wish it did not go on as patchy. This eyeshadow is the color navy. This eyeshadow is the color navy and it is that true navy color with a hint of blue sheen in it and then depending as you can see on the light it does have that cool brown under tone with also a little bit of gray but is that true navy color when put on the lid as you can see when it is put on it has more of a purple undertone more different in the pan but also with like a black iridescent silver sheen to it but it is that true dark navy color this eyeshadow is called dusk dusk and exactly what it is it's a silvery sheen spec as you can see but it is a silvery black color and when it sheens out like you can see when it's spread out all over the lid you will absolutely fall in love with this color definitely for a nighttime smoky look i think this would look absolutely gorgeous if you want a tutorial on that let me know also in the comments down below or by giving this video a thumbs up as you can see swatched out it has that silvery sheen to it with the black and the more you come into it and you actually see up close it does have a little bit of a silver effect in it but also a black you grateful as a transition shade and also could be used over the lid if used with MAC Fix Plus or e.l.f. Set Spray or the Makeup Lock and Kit. You can also get these custom packs that actually come with a brush, a dual end applicator to pack on the eyeshadow and then these tins are also magnetic. It comes in four which you can take your shades and customize them however you want and put them in. I got two but I realized I can just actually get a Z palette which hopefully in the near future Elf will make one and then I could get rid of these. Like I said in the beginning I haven't used most of them but I do plan on using most of these colors for looks within this week for work. So if you would like a video on that, also give this video a thumbs up. And my thoughts on them, as you can see, from some of them they do swatch out okay. But for other ones like this one here and some more of the darker, darker colors. But then the brighter colors as well also swatch a little patchy. So guys, thanks for watching my video of the reviews for the custom eye pan fills for e.l.f. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And just keep on watching and thanks for the support, guys.